If you're gonna fight back against an armed robber and you're not armed yourself, you gotta be ready to practice the five Ds. Hi everyone, this is John with today's active self-protection lesson. Today's lesson comes to us from Norfolk, Virginia, and it shows a store owner who's just not gonna take it from an armed robber. She acts definitively and practices the five Ds and does a fantastic job here, but we're gonna learn a lesson in follow-up that teaches us that we gotta take an armed robber seriously. We see the armed robber walk in here and launch his attack out of ambush as he pulls a gun and is going to put it right to the owner of the store here. Make sure you go read uh, the news story and watch the video in the description that she has a very touching story with this here. And as he's trying to get after her, well, she gets tired of that and grabs the gun and now she's gonna get after it. And her husband here is gonna come out of the back with a big old meat cleaver and together they are gonna fight him off. And it's not for a little while that police are gonna catch him and they catch him because he goes to the hospital with a big old meat cleaver injury. Now she's got the gun, she's like, oh, it's fake until she pulls the trigger and realizes that it's not. So let's go back and learn some lessons here. I think the first one that we gotta learn is the fact that these attacks always happen out of ambush. They happen in transitional spaces very regularly. Remember, a transitional space is a place that allows for easy access, easy ambush, and easy escape. We have that here. Now he go, comes right up and uses the gun here as an intimidation tool. She just noticed for the first time that he had a gun in his hand. So situational awareness, always very important to our active self-protection. And he's gonna use that now to intimidate in order to rob the place. And he's gonna push her around a little bit because what he wants is the money out of the till. Nevertheless, he is threatening her person so she has every right to fight back. And she decides to do that by grabbing the gun. So here we start the five Ds. If you're gonna fight an armed attacker, you're not armed yourself, the five Ds are the way to go. First one is deflect, she gets it off the line so it doesn't hurt her. Now she has to dominate and the problem she has there is you notice he uses that off arm as a leveraging arm to try to get the gun back. That's exactly what they'll do. If you grab that gun, they're gonna use the other hand to try to pull the gun back and away from you. So what she does instead is go underneath to go grab his hand and to dominate, not just the gun, but the hand with the gun. Remember, it's the weapon first, then the hand with the weapon, arm with the weapon, and the entire person with the weapon in ascending order of preference. Now, where does she get the third one, which is distract? She gets it from her husband, who is gonna come into play. And two things here, number one, having a partner, you wanna work together. You want to communicate and think about how you're going to defend yourself ahead of time so that you can communicate and help one another. And also he provides the distraction here. Oh no, somebody who's got a weapon that I can't deal with, which then allows her to disarm the bad guy. And then they disable him from hurting them some more with a couple of well-timed strikes. Finally, we want to talk about the fact that this is why we always say, that you wanna treat a firearm uh, with respect. She didn't think it was real, but clearly it was. So you always wanna keep that firearm pointed in a safe direction. Also, that this was no joke. This wasn't a, a threat. This was a real firearm. This was a deadly force encounter. So if you're gonna fight against an armed robber, recognize that loaded gun can be pointed at you. Thankfully, they did enough here to protect themselves. They fought this bad guy off and covered their asp.